A lot of you have seen it on TV, you have seen it in newspapers, Africa is rising, uh, Africa is taking off, Africa the next giant, and so on and so forth. Uh, it makes you as an African or sympathizer, Africanist, initially, well, maybe happy, but then you, know, you begin to wonder, what, what's all this? What is happening? These are the same newspapers that were saying Africa is a hopeless continent, it's going to disappear, AIDS is going to crush it, and so on. Is it the same? So you get to wonder a little bit. So a while ago, I actually think about these issues. I wrote a small paper, which I, tenta I, I, I called Banana Out of Republic. Why Banana Out of Republic? Because uh, they, are, they are called banana republics. So I suppose if you take the banana out of these republics, then there will be no more republics. And that was a question mark. Banana out of republic. Is it that we have got into a situation where there are going to be no more republics and no longer banana republics? So I believe, actually, there's something a little more fundamental. A lot of people, of course, when you read these things from newspapers, the economists, and so on, you never get down to the crooks of the matter. Is there a change in Africa today compared to 10 years ago? As a person who is working at the African Development Bank, I would say in the first instance, yes, because then I will keep my job. But actually, I would still keep my job even if I said no. But the reason why I believe there is something changing in Africa, because wherever you go in Africa, there is a changing discourse. And that's very important. Even before you get to the facts, in terms of uh, what is happening, the discourse is changing. First of all, you convince the people, the people on the ground are things changing. Uh, by the way, a lot of, when you read the newspapers again, you, you get a feeling that this is the first time that Africans are going through some kind of transformation. The very first time that our governments are thinking of taking off of industrialization, of so on and so forth. It has happened before, many times before. Now, using again the example of Zambia, a country that, I, as I said, I know quite well, in 1963, the president of, uh, of Zambia, then he wasn't president, but aspiring to be president, uh, Kenneth Kaunda, um, he's now 90 years old. He was much younger then. He put up a manifesto. You, you know about that? An election manifesto. And the heading of this manifesto was, when UNIP becomes government. UNIP is a party. When it becomes government. It's a longish manifesto. But somewhere in between, they said, our goal is to remove ignorance disease and poverty. By the way, it has never changed. That's a thing you hear today. Re eradicate ignorance, disease, and poverty, and so on. And 20 years later, when Zambia was, had problems, they came together and said, wow, why are we using all these uh, people's uh, you know, structure adjustment and so on? Let's do our own thing. And they then had a program which was called Growth from Our Own Resources resources in terms of copper, resources in terms of brain power. So these kind of instances have come and gone. So what makes it, what, how, how sure can we be that things are changing today, that the banana is getting out of the republic? Now I'll give you one or two examples of this, and then I will let it go, because I don't want to say too much. Uh, one of the examples is that uh, for a very long time, Donors like the IMF, I used to work at the IMF long ago, would come to town. It can be Lusaka, it doesn't matter, Nairobi and so on. We knock at the minister's door and tell him, by the way, we have looked at the economy from Washington using I don't know what, and we have seen this, and you have to do it. If you don't do it, if you don't sign more or less, if you don't sign here, we will go out. Today, that cannot happen. Nowhere in Africa, even the poorest countries. There's no way you can just go in you have to sit down, negotiate. That is a fundamental change to my mind. Another one is that African remittances. And who knows better who Africans know Africa much better, I would suppose, than others. But African remittances today, in other words, money coming from Africans, you included, being sent to the continent, is now much larger than foreign. Uh, donor, aid. It's also almost competing with uh, foreign direct investment. That is about 70, 65 billion, 70 a year. That is another sign 
that something fundamental is changing. Africans living out here are voting. They know what they, is going on, and they're sending money out there. Okay. Another one, and la lastly maybe, is what I call the China, the China factor. For a very long time, by the way, when you got conferences today where globalization is discussed, China is sometimes painted in very negative terms as these people that are coming to grab African, pro, uh, African land, African oil, African da 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 da. But I, I will tell you that when, especially the British and, uh, and, and the French and so on were colonizing these countries, they never, they also did the same thing, came in and grabbed and so on. The only thing is that the Chinese are not hypocrites. They come to do business and they tell you we are there to do business and they reach. So a whole lot of things happening in Africa that I think have bring about a fundamental change. And I'm very sure that with this going up that we have seen, we are going to be very new economies. Now, a whole lot of people think that that change will, is a miracle. It will re reduce poverty overnight. It will ensure Africans are powerful. It will ensure there is no South Sudan. No, a whole lot of that will happen. Development is not going to be linear by no means. So you're going to see ups and downs. But what you want to do is to see a constant movement in the right direction. So ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for uh, the few moments I've had to address you this afternoon. But more importantly, I'd like to wish you a very successful <coughs> conference. I'm sure it's going to be very, very interesting. And I'm very much looking forward to take part listening and also in the debates that will follow. Thank you so much.